Hi everybody, it's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori. We are recording this live. My guests are here. Everything's unscripted. I don't know what's coming. We're gonna look at your Art Antiques and Collectibles. I'm gonna show you what to look for and share my tips. Let's see what my guests have. They're gonna hold up their objects. I wanna see your faces. You gotta show me your faces and your objects. Come on. <laughs> Good to see everybody. Let's see. What's this sculpture over here? Let's see what this sculpture is. The woman who has the gray sweatshirt. Hi, Hi how are you? Hi, Dr. Lori, how are you? I'm good, what's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm Tammy, I'm calling from Kansas. Wow, that's great, Tammy. We got a, a there's a pot right there. That's a lot of reflection off that pot. So tell me what's going on, Tammy? How'd you acquire this uh, sculpture? I bought it at a thrift store, actually a Goodwill in Kansas. And it's heavy. I think it's bronze. I need you to hold it up a little bit for me, Tammy. Okay. Can you see hold, that? Hold it up. Oh, that means good. lift it. There you go. Yeah. So what is it? A golfer? Yes, it's a golfer without the golf club. Okay. Can you come closer to the camera for me with it? And up. Straight up. We're trying to see the whole thing. There it is. That's good. Okay. So you've got a so you've got a patinated cast. A um, metal sculpture. Can I see the bottom, the underside? Sure. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's a bronze casting. Very good. How much did you pay for it? $7.99. $7.99 is great. That's wonderful. At the thrift store? Yes, yeah, so a Goodwill, actually, in Kansas. What made you buy it, even though it didn't have the golf club? Well, I, I thought it was probably bronze, and it was heavy, and I thought it was very interesting, so I snatched it right up. Yeah, it's great. So, any marking on it? Any signature on the bottom? No. I've looked all over. It has some tarnish or some, you know, whatever that is. Um, no markings. I looked all over it with the loop, and I could not find anything. Show me that. Get Show me that shoulder, what you're talking about. I want you to look for what. Now, what she looked for was she looked for weight. This element indicates that there's a deterioration, that this piece has been laying somewhere that typically is either wet, damp, other kinds of damage. So when you see that, that's hard to... Uh, it's hard to get rid of, basically. So you want to be careful because once you start to just scrub that away, you might actually get rid of the patination or the patina. So that's problematic. I don't like that. Value on that piece, about $150. Without that, you'd probably be talking 500 bucks. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so very, very good though. It's early 20th century. It's a form that probably is made in America, even though it's unmarked. And do you see where it's attached at the bottom? It had a base. It used to sit on a base. And maybe it was that base that had the information about the artist. But it's a very typical 1910 to 1930s style form. That figure is very common, you know, with the, with the bottom of the uh, jacket going upward. Pretty mm -hmm. common for um, athletes, athletic kinds of things. Um, it reminds me of an artist named A.B. Frost. And if you look up his work, you're going to say, oh, yeah, that looks like my sculpture. Anyway, that's what I want you to look for. It's good that you looked for the weight. That was great. So congratulations for $7.99 at the thrift store, a $150 sculpture in good condition. If it was in good condition, about $500. Bucks. So look for the bronze. Good for you, Tammy Thank from you. Kansas. Hey, Thank I've got a question of the day, if you don't mind. Question yeah. of the day. Uh, movies, historic movies, Top Gun or Titanic? Titanic. I'm a Titanic. Romantic. I'm a romantic here. <laughs> what did you say? I'm a romantic. <laughs> it's great. Kate, Kate Lin Winslet is good in everything, and you can't beat Leonardo DiCaprio. Right, so right. nice to see you. Thanks for Thank sharing you. with us. Good day. Yeah, when you're looking at sculpture, I want you to look for the figure, the, fa the fact that that figure was large is also important but the weight of it and understanding patina and bronze casting versus other metals is really great if that were lightweight very easy to pick up even though it was the same patina or patinated color then you know you have something called spellfer so you want to leave that at the thrift store yeah great starting off the bat nice pieces my guests are here again everything's unscripted let's see what they've got hold up your objects please Hold up your objects. Let's see what we got. Let's take a look at the landscape painting. There's a guy who's waving. What's your name? My name's John. Hey, John. How you doing? Not too bad. It's actually not even a painting, Lori. Where are you it's calling a... from? And it's Dr. Lori to you. I spent a thousand years in school for that. I can't believe I slipped up. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. But, it's um, Japanese tell me, but John Hunt, tell me where are you calling from? Where are you calling I'm from, from? Ontario. 
Ontario. Yeah. And you said it's not a painting. So what is it? It's Japanese bunka made with chenille, or, uh, chenille thread. Oh, beautiful. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. And it's I wonder very... if I can zoom in for you guys. Do bit. your best. And it's very intricate. When you see these pieces. Oh, you should see the levels. I've got like, there's probably seven different levels on this, Lori, with multiple colors. Like You do not want to give me my due. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my I'm God. Kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm totally I'm kidding. Nervous. I really am. I, I really am. am. I didn't think this is my first time ever. <laughs> So no, I know, sweetie. I'm happy. I'm happy to, John. I'm happy to have you. Can you get? Can you get any closer so they can see the detail? Oh yeah, of course. All right, I get a little closer. Friend. A couple of things. Well, uh, well, I'm going to step on John's words a little bit so I can teach you what to look for. A couple of things that I want you to look for. I do want you to look for what he describes as the levels, or basically the perspective that is indicated by, of course, those threads. And if he gets closer, you're going to be able to see it. Sometimes it's relatively difficult to do that. Um, this piece also is impressive because of its size. Oftentimes they're quite small, these Japanese pieces made of textiles, basically of different threads. And the Japanese are great for making uh, their own handmade paper as well as pieces like this that oh, relate that. to yeah. textile. So how big is it in the frame, John? It, it's uh, 20 inches, it, the frame is, and so it's a 16 inch wide. 16 then, by 20? Yeah, and then the frame is 16 and the picture's 12 wide, yeah, so. Okay, so uh, how'd you acquire it? Where'd you buy it? How much did you pay? I, I, I bought it at a tiny little Mennonite uh, thrift store that just opened up and I saw the frame and I figured it's 1970s, probably worth about $25. And I was like, well, I can't lose for the $5 price tag. There you so, go. For five bucks, you got the $25 frame, which is probably worth closer to 50 bucks. Okay. And then you also got this piece, which is worth about a hundred. So you did pretty well at 125 for a $5 investment. I'm proud of you. Wonderful. Thank you. This is <laughs> my first time on. So it's cool. my pleasure. We're so happy to have you on. We're happy to offer this to everybody. So awesome. just get, get out your Thank devices you. and just show me your objects. I want to see it all. Hey, my question of the day, Titanic or Top Gun? Old movies. Yes. As you said before, it's hard to beat Leo, right? So Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio. Leonardo sure. DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah, he's a good guy and also, of course, a great producer. So nice to meet you, John. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thanks for giving and me information. Lori is signing off here with you. Dr. Lori, <laughs> my apologies. You Bye. are every no, every degree you have. You're worth yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Thank <laughs> you, sweetie. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> I love to tease the guys. The guys are fun. But that's a nice piece. And what he recognized in that piece, and with any kind of uh, basic, uh, what I always call mixed media pieces or um, textile pieces, fiber art is very, very big. And it became very, very big. The traditions go back to the 19th century, but it became very, very big in the 1970s. So the fact that he recognized the 1970s frame and then said, hey, this is a piece from Japan is really great. Complexity of any of those um, textile pieces is always gonna be important, whether you're looking at a quilt, whether you're looking at needlepoint, whether you're not looking at a uh, sampler, or maybe even uh, a piece like his with, of course, uh, threads. Nice, really nice. Guests are here. Let's see what, what they've got. Hold up those objects. Oh, yay. Oh, wow. Let's see what you've got. All right. Let's see what you've got. Let's talk about glass. How about the glass dog? Looks like a dog. <laughs> Hi, what's it's your name? Hi, I'm Karen. I'm from Minnesota. Hi, Karen. Where are you calling? Oh, you're calling from Minnesota. How do yep. you acquire this? Is this a dog? Because you're kind of off. Yes. Get Here. in the middle of the, of the camera, will you? This way. There we go. Yeah, there you go. He's, How'd you acquire it? Uh, um, at an estate sale for $8. Huh, what made you buy it? It looks like my dog. Oh, okay, that's a good reason. <laughs> yeah, what's except your, my dog's white, not clear. What, what's your dog's name? Wusha. 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 Okay. It means dog in Amharic. Oh, all right, I got it. So that means dog, okay, that means dog. So can you get it a little closer to the camera? Uh, there you go. So it looks like a lovely piece of glass. It also looks like it's got applied eyes, different glass, and even the tongue and the nose, right? Mm -hmm. Up a little higher. Can you lift it for me? Yeah, you guys have to all kind of figure out where your camera is so we can get the thing in the camera. That's good. How big is it? How long is it? It is, um, she's eight inches long and about seven and a half inches tall. Okay, how much did you pay? Eight bucks. Is it marked in any way? 
No, I can't find any mark on it. Okay. So these are very, very typical. They make a lot of figural pieces out of glass. This one's probably from the Pacific Northwest, the United States. It's definitely American. And value on that piece, about $75 for your $8 oh. investment. Oh, thank you. I think you did great. And of course, yeah. it means a lot to you because it's just like it your does. dog. Yeah, yeah, that's my dog. Based on actual sales records, a couple of things that I want you to look for when you're looking at glass. First of all, and if it's figural glass, it should look like the figure it's trying to mimic. So the fact that you have, of course, the fur, it looks kind of like the fur. The, the tongue, I think, is very well done. I don't think the eyes are very well done, but the tongue is very well done. And that's kind of typical of the breed. If there's something in a sculpture like that in glass that, that captures the breed, you live with the breed all, all you know, every day. So you know whether it's the head turn or the tilt or the way you know the legs are, whatever it might be. So those are some of the characteristics you always want to look for. If they capture that, then the value goes up. That's a nice piece. I like it very well. And again, question of the day all the time, Titanic or Top Gun? Titanic. Titanic, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Do you have a favorite scene? Oh, it's probably not everybody else's favorite. It's when they're all struggling to get off. It's yeah, just, I have to say that, that scene when Kate Winslet is soaking wet and she's running around, she's mm -hmm. on the pole. I mean, she, amazing. If you think yeah. about what she actually had to do, what they had to do under the water, that must have been horrible to shoot. Having been on TV, <laughs> I, horrible to shoot. Nice to see you. Thanks so much from Me Minnesota. Thank you. When it comes to figural glass, I want you to remember a couple of things. If there's any inconsistency, what does that mean? If you don't start to see the same, like with something like that, they have to make all of the fur, if you will, in the glass look the same. So that's relatively difficult. If you see differences, then you see the value tends to go down. A lot of folks, a lot of, uh, of course, blown gl glass blowing artisans will in fact make figural pieces like dogs and cats and pets. But the ones that really stand out are ones like those that actually have a connection to that particular breed of dog. That was a nice one uh, and great for the estate sale. Don't forget, of course, to um, use the binge link to binge and get all of these tips. You can use the binge link, which is on the specials and shop page at drlaurieV.com. Don't forget to scroll down that page. It's not only everything at the top of the page. Scroll down the page, find all the different options on that page, including the binge link, which will allow you to binge my videos in order, and they start with the most current. My guests are here. We're looking at their art antiques and collectibles. Let's see what they've got. Okay, got a piece in the manner. Let's take a look at this framed piece in the manner of um, Matisse. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you, Dr. Lori? I'm good, what's your name, hon? I'm Olivia. Hi, Olivia, where are you calling from? I'm calling from the Tri-Cities area in Eastern Tennessee. Eastern Tennessee, okay. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about this. I like the contrast of the white frame and then the mat, the blue mat, and then the, I like white and blue, I love that. Mm -hmm. but, and then of course the white again, is this piece marked? Um, it just has the Matisse uh, down here, but I don't see any other marks on it. Okay, did you get out your loop and did you look at, did you look at the actual print? Not so much the signature, but the actual print. And this is what I want you to do, what to look for, get the loop, you can buy it, of course, through us. And yes, I get compensation when you do any purchases. It helps support the channel. But basically, get the loop. Turn on the light on the loop. Okay, you can see the light on the loop, right? I want you to turn on the light on the loop. And then what I want you to do is I want you to look at the actual print. I don't want you to bother so much with, this, with the signature. In this case, I want you to look at the print. Did you look at the print, the blue part or the yellow part, or the part with the, the, little, um, uh, the little dish and the little um, fruits? Did you look at it with the loop? I did not, but I can see like the little dots. Okay, so you can see little dots. Are they concentric dots? What to look for? Are they concentric circle dots or are they dots next to one another or are they are they dots within dots? I don't know. I would ha I'd have to pull out the loop again. You got to get the loop. <laughs> I do have it. I just haven't looked at this one yet. All right. I want you to look at it and here's going to be the difference. If they're concentric circle dots, then they're it's a later print mechanical made by machine. Mm -hmm. If they're dots next to dots, it's a little bit earlier. So that's the difference between the 1960s and of course the 1980s or later. All right. Okay. That's what I want you to think about. How much did you pay for this? Why did you buy it? Um, I think I, I think it was like five dollars. Um, okay. so I cheap. just got it. It seemed like it was a good deal for something like this. Thrift store? Yes, ma'am. 
Okay, great. So a couple of things I like about it. When you see a colored mat, 99 times out of 100, you're dealing with a print that was put into the frame in the 1980s. Okay. Okay, so now you're looking at that. So if you've got a print, the matting and the professional framing is the 1980s, it's probably that the print is also from the 1980s. I know that this print is from the 1980s because I've appraised them before, but for mm -hmm. you guys who are out there without all the database that I've gotten in my head, then basically you could say, hey, that colored mat is gonna give me a tip. So when you're looking what to look for, look for the colored mat, right? And that will tell you date, that will help you to date the piece. Matisse reproductions are all over the place. A lot of museums will reproduce the pieces in their collection by Henri Matisse. And of course, he's active from the early 1900s all the way until uh, the middle part, uh, just about the early part of the 1950s. Value on that piece, I'm assuming that that is uh, 11 by 14? Uh, I, I think it was, it was bigger than that, I think. I measured okay. it, but I forgot the measurements, I'm sorry. Okay, sweetie. So Olivia, value on that piece, let's say it's uh, 16 by 20. I don't think it's that big, but if it's 16 by 20, it's worth about 100 bucks. If it's 11 by 14, it's worth about 85 bucks. Based on actual sales records, and I always include the value of the frame in my evaluations. Okay, thank you, Dr. Rory. Yeah, nice going, hon. For five bucks, you got to keep it up. You know, prints can be valuable. Don't overlook prints. And uh, a question of the day for you, Titanic or Top Gun? Tom Cruise or Leonardo DiCaprio? Oh, definitely Titanic. <laughs> okay, Titanic it is. Yeah, there's a reason why it was, you know, the biggest selling, uh, the biggest um, uh, viewed movie in history, Titanic. So nice to see you, honey. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Treasure hunters are out there and they're here too with me from all over the world. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget, of course, to sign up for my newsletter. My newsletter is available at drlaurieb.com. It is free. All you have to do is go to the thumbs up free icon, click there, give us your email address, and we will send the newsletter out to you when we send it. <laughs> So we do that regularly. Thanks to my guests, we saw some great stuff, didn't we? Lots of what to look for tips too from me. I'm Dr. Lori, I'll see you next time.